Okay, um, I'd like to discuss the point of self-delusion and illusion. Uh, this is something that uh, I do all the time. I find everybody does it all the time. Our whole world is kind of, that's what it's become. Um, you know, because I noticed that my whole life has just revolved around um, keeping myself distracted and preoccupied and um, sheltering myself from the reality of what's actually going on in this world. Which, you know, if you can even <laughs> wake up enough to lift your head up and look around and see what's going on, I mean, it's, it speaks for itself what's actually going on in this world. It's so obvious to see, yet... You know, amazingly, no one sees it within all of this um, escaping that we're doing. Because that's all it is, all the preoccupation, entertainment, distractions. It's just a form of escape from ourselves and having to face the reality of ourselves in this world. And it's always done in the name of, you know, love and happiness, because we've come to define the things that we use to escape with, to pretty much just, like, you know, like everybody's living up in the clouds in some heavenly place. Um, so we've come to define all these things, all these forms of entertainment and preoccupation that we, uh, that are actually just addictions, in fact, just become addictions. Um, we define them as like these great, amazing things that we believe we love, and like with them not become terrified of the thought of ever letting go of them. And it's quite amazing what it can do to you. I mean, it works exactly like a drug, you know. Um, the rush and energetic high happy feeling that people get from these um, that things we like to do you know um, all these different forms of entertainment and I just find it so fascinating how how that delusion works how it really fucks people up and I mean you know because the reality it's it's all around us all the time constantly we're in a bubble that's not even real, you know, like, how, how does that work? Um, and it's not, it's not to say that enjoying oneself is bad, obviously, it's not to say that enjoying one's world is bad, it's the starting point, it's why people are, are doing these things, and like I just mentioned, it's like, from that starting point, before one even realizes it, you take the shit so seriously, like, you really believe it to be real, um, because you've, that attachment is just, an addiction has just become so great, and <laughs> that attachment and addiction has been given the name love, so it's like a huge fuck up, it's a huge deception, and... You know, watching everybody else doing it, like, all the time has really pushed me to look at myself because, you know, everybody else is doing it and I see they're doing it and I react to that and it's like, you get angry about it because it's like, fuck, look at what you're doing. But of course that reaction is always just about me um, because the same point is existing in my life. I'm still participating within that same point within my own world. Um... So it forces me to look at myself, you know. I mean, there's so many times with, in my experience in my world where, um, just in some of the things I'm required to do, like in my work, in my job, um, where people get involved with an activity and just get so carried away with it to a point where it's like crazy, you know. People get, like, you know, things get so serious and so much importance and value and everything gets placed on it, but it's like, 
that's not the real world. It's n it's nothing, and it's it's just so fucked up. I mean, it's really sad to see how bad that we fuck our ourselves up that way by actually believing that shit is real. It's not real, and none of it is real. All the all the systems that we create in this world, and I mean, all these things that we give value to in our world as things that, that matter and are good and are great. How can those values be real? I mean, if we don't even give value to <clears throat> people who are starving to death, you know, like automatic, that give that value. They need food. Sort that situation out. I mean, if we can't even do that, how are we trustworthy to give value to anything in our world that we believe is so good and great? You know. But fascinatingly, in this process, as it's been pointed out to me again and again, um, this brainwashing has gone quite deep, and the solution really lies within self, within me as myself, because as I mentioned before, I mean, I'm existing within the same points and I can really only correct myself. I can really only become um, directive in terms of being able to support this whole situation by stopping the point within my own life. And right now for me personally in my process, it's just becoming a matter of like, you know, either become really proactive and, you know, get this done, will myself to really change myself and look at these points and, you know, do all the things that I'm angry at other people and resentful to, towards other people about for not, for being so blind to and not looking at, you know, and, and, and be that support that I've always wanted, that I've always been so disappointed that others never gave me, you know, be that point of support. And... You know, so either be proactive in doing that, or continue the hell of reacting to a world of this kind of bullshit. Alright, and being a slave to it. <clears throat> That's all for now. Thanks very much.